Let's say we're asked to multiply these two monomials, 4x cubed times y to the fourth z, Let's say we're asked to multiply the two monomials, 4x cubed, y to the fourth, z, and 2x squared, y to the sixth, z cubed. We can start by rewriting the problem with a slight rearrangement. We can combine the numbers next to each other. We can put the x terms next to each other. The same thing can be done with the y's and the z's at the end. Now at this stage, 4 times 2 will give us 8. Because the bases are same here and the terms are being multiplied, we can apply the product rule of exponents, which states that we should add the exponents. The same will apply for y's and the same will apply for the z's. So we see again that 4 times 2 will give us an 8. x cubed times x squared will give us x to the 3 plus 2. Again, this is coming from the product rule of exponents. Similarly, y to the 4th times y to the 6th will give us y to the 4 plus 6. And lastly, z times z cubed will give us z to the 1 plus 3. We can add these three pairs of numbers and finally get 8, x to the 5th, y to the 10th, z to the 4th as our answer. Let's look at another question where we multiply a monomial by a trinomial. We use our old friendly technique distribution to solve this problem. So we multiply the 4x cubed by the 5x squared by the negative 2x and by the 5 as you can see written out here. Now this is essentially three monomials or three pairs of monomials getting multiplied by each other and that's exactly the type of problem we solved here. So 4 times the 5 will give us a 20 x to the third and x squared will need to get multiplied as well. And then the same thing down the line. We will group the numbers together and then multiply the variables separately. So writing this down gives us four times five times x cubed times x squared. Here we have a negative four and a two, x cubed and an x. Here we get four and a five, but the x cubed doesn't have a corresponding term with a five, so it just stays there by itself. At this stage, we can combine like terms, or simply use order of operations. 4 times 5 will give us 20, and here we can use the product rule of exponents just like we did in the previous problem. x cubed times x squared will give us x to the fifth. So here we see 4 times 5 gives us 20, x to the third times x squared gives us x to the fifth, negative 4 times 2 gives us negative 8, x cubed times x will give us x to the fourth because of 3 plus 1. And finally, 4 times 5 x cubed will just turn into 20 x cubed. None of these three terms are like terms, so we cannot combine any of them, and the question is over at this stage.